Hip-Hops is 1987.com. Hip hop since nineteen eighty seven. We live in the A right now, and I'm with a man. You just, you just, you just put on for your city. You here in Atlanta? We got a chance to hear the Living Legend album before anybody else. Some of the tracks you even performed for us. The brother goes by the name of Gunplay. How you feeling today, man? Man, I'm feeling blessed beyond belief. You know what I'm saying? Every day above ground's a great day, my brother. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about your project, your debut project. But you've been down with MMG from the Muscle. So talk yeah. to me and explain to me. You know what was the delay and and, and Explain to me what was going through your mind when you finally decided to put the process, put the project out. Um, you know, I, I was, um, so, you know, a lot of it was 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 my fault. It was my poor decisions that was holding me back. Legal issues, you know, my poor decisions leading to legal issues, and um, just having one foot in the street, and um, and and thinking it was all right. You know, but so I took them both out, put them both in the industry and to my music, into my craft, perfecting my craft, my business. And now you have a, a, a living legend. You know what I'm saying? July 31st. Now, you have two singles out in the streets right now, Be Like Me with Rick Ross, and you also have a single with YG in the street. Video out to that, you was in Kylie in the West Coast doing your thing. You look real comfortable on the West Coast. So talk to me a little bit about your relationship with YG and shooting the video over there. Um, it was dope. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big West Coast fan. And, um, you know, the history of the West Coast I look up to. And um, YG is definitely holding it down for the gangsters out there and, and, and that era. He's, you know what I mean? He's taking it to the, you know, to the young, bringing the young niggas out. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, gangster niggas, man, on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? He's the young, young era. And um, it just felt good going out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, you know, you know, G's going to relate to each other, man. You know, real going to recognize real. So it wasn't, it wasn't nothing that was real um, hard to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to DJ Mustard, produced the track. Shout Shout out to YG taking the time out to um, um, knock out the visuals for the video and um, it's, it's doing its thing, man, for sure. July 31st, the project Living Legends will be on the streets. It'll be on iTunes. Make sure you pick that up. But why the title Living Legend? Because that's what the fuck I am. Before I started rapping, I should have been dead and in jail. I started rapping. And, and and the world scene, I should have been dead or in jail, you know. And I and I rose, you know, from the ashes, man. You know what I mean? The world seen my ups, my downs. You know what I'm saying? They seen me, you know, come back from something that I wasn't even supposed to come back from. And um, you know, if anybody out there that's been through similar or worse, you are a living legend yourself. You know, so it's, it's not just me being a living legend. It's what I've went through, what I survived, what I I overcame came you know what i'm saying that was that's what makes me a living legend and anybody that's like i said been through worse or the same or anything that 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 you you know it was looking grim it was no coming back and you still overcame it you are a living legend you know what i'm saying now, I got a few tracks on the album, actually, that I was really, really digging. You know, 11 tracks on the project. It's about a good nine of them. I'm like, damn, I could damn sure hear them in the club. You slowed down and, you know, you, you spoke from your heart and your mind on a few tracks. But the, the track, White Bitch, is, is definitely amazing. Talk to me a little bit about your next single in the video you got coming up. Yeah, that's the, that's the new video we shooting. It's called White Bitch. Um, 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 it's produced, um, by, uh, uh, man, don't, don't make me, oh, man, it's produced by a dude from, from overseas, actually, um, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, sir, but it's a dope track, you know what I'm saying, but uh, we're shooting the video on, uh, Friday, uh, I got, um, Mickey Monday from, um, Cocaine Cowboys in there, um, Dre Films is shooting it, and, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a movie, it's gonna be dope, trust me me man yeah now your big homie ricky rose is back in the streets and whatnot have you talked to him yet about the project has he given you any words of advice before you put the projects out in the street yeah he just you know he just um he's happy for me because he he's uh, I, I just left um over over at the crib today 
And, um, you know, I had to check up on the big homie because I'm in town for not too long, but I had to go see him. And he's just happy that, that, that um, you know, that I that I survived and arrived alive for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's he's proud of me, man. And, he, you know, he just wishes the best for me. And I'm um, just telling me to stay focused. And he loves the album. And um, he's satisfied with it. And I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the big homie. Anything he 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 okays, it's, 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 it's a done deal. You know what I mean? Anybody that knows you, they know you're from the streets and that you're a street rapper. Another one of your MMG brothers, Meek Mills, just recently put out an album that went number one. So it's showing that street rappers and street albums can do great things. Do you think that's a positive lead up, lead up for your album as well? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the um the boy Meek Mill. You know, he two weeks strong, number one on the billboard. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I, I think that's uh, paving the way for um, um bringing the spark back for the streets, for sure. Now, we know you got this new project that will be out July 31st. Please make sure you pre-order that immediately following this interview. But what else can we look forward to to, to hearing from Gunplay? Um, my artist, PJK. You know what I'm saying? He's on two songs on my album. Um, look forward to uh, the second album. Look forward to, to PJK's album. Look forward to BBG, Black Bilderberg Group, Imprint, um, Label Deal. So forth and so forth, man. And look look forward to me staying the fuck out of jail. Damn it. I'm done. <laughs> I got to ask you before we wrap up. Living Legends, give me your top three Living Legends right now. Top three Living Legends got to be Jay-Z. Got to be, got to be, got to be, got to be Mike Tyson. Got to be Michael Jordan. Amen to that. Tell these good folk where they can follow you at via social media. Uh, hit me up on, on Instagram, I-T-Z, Don Logan. It's Don Logan. Hit me up on Twitter, Gunplay MMG. You know what it is, El Dorado, Hip Hop Since 1987. We live in Atlanta. Stay tuned to Hip Hop Since 1987 for a lot more from MMG and his brother Gunplay right here. Ah. Hip Hop Since 1987.com.